The Kinect depth sensor consists of an infrared emitter and an infrared filtered camera, separated by a short fixed baseline. In this work we separate the emitter and camera components, and we aim to track the motion of a roaming emitter relative to a fixed camera. The pose of the roaming emitter is estimated by observing the projected dot pattern in the fixed camera view. The unknown scene structure is simultaneously recovered. The method provides a low-cost solution for tracking applications using a compact device with simple electronics. We propose an auto-calibration procedure to recover the emitter dot pattern layout and the camera's intrinsic parameters from a sequence of overlapping images captured from a moving emitter. We perform a two-stage bundle adjustment process. The first stage stitches together the overlapping views by matching them sequentially and performing bundle adjustment parameterized by the homography from the emitter reference to the observed points in each frame. The sixth off emitter pose is extracted from the homography to initialize a second stage bundle adjustment parameterized by rotations and translations. Bundling first for the homography widens the basin of convergence, as the homography stage is less strongly nonlinear. The pose parameters obtained for a sampled subset are used to initialize a final dense bundle adjustment over all points. The result is the recovered emitter dot pattern layout along with the intrinsic parameters of the fixed camera. At runtime, we need to obtain correspondences between the current camera view and the emitter dot pattern reference. Once correspondences have been obtained between the calibrated camera and the emitter, we can ransack for the essential matrix using standard techniques and the problem is reduced to structure from motion. We obtain correspondences by matching five-point perspective invariant tokens, which we call kites. Kites are transformed into a canonical frame by an homography. We distinguish between the first four points used to define the homography, called a quad, and the fifth point used to provide an invariant, called a tail point. We build up a lookup table in the canonical frame that is used at runtime to identify quads from the positions of their tail points using a voting scheme. Each tail point belonging to quad Q votes for position in the canonical frame by adding to a histogram over quad indices at that location. The voting process is repeated many times for quad Q by sampling to model noise. This is followed by voting for the next quad Q dash and so on. Once the lookup table has been constructed for the full emitter dot pattern, the runtime quad identification is extremely fast. Again the kite invariant is used to index the voting space. The histogram of quad indices is extracted from the corresponding location. This is repeated for kites created from all one connected neighbours of the quad. The individual histograms from each location are combined and the quad index is identified by the mode of the combined histogram. Region growing around the match quad hypothesis is used to verify the resulting correspondences between the current frame and the emitter dot pattern reference. This is an example of our tracker being used to provide the sixth off pose of an attached camera to enable augmented reality in a challenging scene with textureless surfaces. The recovered 3D scene structure viewed by the IR camera, shown on the left, is augmented in the scene. This is an example of the tracker as a user interface device. The handheld emitter is augmented with a virtual lightsaber. As can be observed, translational and rotational accuracy are comparable to other lookout systems with a much simpler device.